The U.S. has just recorded its worst week for new cases of coronavirus since the pandemic began. More than half a million new COVID-19 infections during that time. Numbers are rising in 43 states. Roughly a third of all new cases are coming from the Midwest as well. CBS 13's David Begno reports from Minneapolis. The state of Wisconsin set new records for cases, hospitalizations, and deaths yesterday. And now a fifth patient is being treated at a field hospital set up outside of Milwaukee. Across the Midwest, seven states are reporting a record number of coronavirus hospitalizations. Illinois is now averaging more new coronavirus cases per day than at any other point in the pandemic. And in Chicago, the daily increase in COVID-related hospitalizations has more than doubled since October began. So the governor is now shutting down all indoor dining starting this Friday. Chicago seemed to have this more under control than other regions of Illinois, but that's no longer the case. There are stories of hope, and we want you to hear them. Meet Carmen Lerma. She's 52 years old, a community leader from Milwaukee. She was hospitalized with coronavirus in July. She had passed out at home. She says when she woke up, she was in the hospital, and she was already hooked up to breathing machines. They said to me, you know, you're lucky you have a guardian angel watching over you because your body oxygen was at 31% when you got here. That is to be brain dead or on a coma. Carmen spent 45 days on a ventilator in the ICU. She only had minor underlying conditions like high blood pressure, but the virus permanently damaged her lungs. The doctors told her she needed a double lung transplant. And just last week, Carmen had a successful operation, but she has a long road to recovery. You think this is a joke. You think, oh, this is not, oh, it's just like the virus. Oh, it's like the flu. No, it's not like a flu. It doesn't feel like a flu. I was pretty healthy. I was pretty healthy and look at me.